What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Hope bringing you a brand new video and today I want to share some stuff with you guys about the latest hotfix or patch that came out today for Destiny. So Bungie released patch 1.2.0.3 today and it regarded the things that they talked about in the latest weekly update mainly about Skolas and the Prison of Elders. So one thing I want to share with you guys that not many people might have known or seen yet uh, that came with this patch is that if you go over to Varix and you head to the reef, go over to Varix and you check out the inventory he has, he has armor pieces that don't have strength rolls on them anymore. So I don't know if this was a mistake that came with the hotfix, but uh, this is what it shows as of right now and it's going to change uh, once the uh, reset happens later on tonight or going into tomorrow uh, depending on what time zone you're in. So. Uh, right here I'm on my Hunter and for the Leg Armor, the Kel Hunter's Path, it is Intellect and Discipline on the stat. And I'm sorry if you guys bought it earlier in the week with Strength Roll on it, but if you guys want better stat rolls on your Prison of Elders gear or armor pieces, I recommend using one of your armor cores and go picking them up for some of your characters. Um, if you need those stats to help you uh, gain more Discipline, more Intellect, whatever. Uh, but for the Hunter, it's Intellect Discipline, and I believe for the Warlock and the Titan, it is both full Discipline. So uh, go ahead and pick up your leg armors before the reset happens, because uh, he's selling different stat rolls, and it's not Strength anymore. So that's really good. And then uh, regarding the other things uh, coming out of this patch uh, with the uh, Grenade Glitch for Gunslingers, that's fixed, so that's really good. You don't have to worry about it in Crucible anymore. People getting golden guns instantly uh, without even having to get kills. I thought that was really cheap. Pretty similar to uh, final round spears in uh, Trials of Osiris, but again, we can't stop people from using it until they take it out of the game, like how they did with this glitch. And then uh, last thing I want to talk to you guys about is for Skull Loss, they reduce his health. And they are taking out the uh, burn modifiers for him, but there is still solar burn on this week until the reset happens. So I believe his health did get reduced already with the patch. So if you do play Skull Loss right now, I don't know personally because I didn't try this out yet, but I think Skull Loss will be less health right now and solar burn is still active. So that means you probably can win a lot easier since solar burn is still there as of right now until the reset and uh, you can probably get a quick skull loss run or level 35 prison of elders run in uh, before the reset happens and before they take away all the elemental burns uh, forever so that's that if you guys want to try it out and get skull loss done quickly if you haven't done it already uh, go ahead and do that and also get your armor pieces from barracks before uh, the uh, reset happens. So yeah, so that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching as always. Stay tuned for more videos coming out throughout the week. We got some E3 hype coming out, so hopefully Destiny has some good stuff, some good news coming out uh, tomorrow, I believe, when they announce some stuff, or later on today uh, with the uh, Sony conference, which is probably going on around now when I upload this video. So yeah, so that's about it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!